Yo, what I'm is Derek, and today I'm going to show you guys how to improve your performance and lower your input lag on Valorant Act 3. Um, so this tweak or this uh, uh, pack that I'm going to give you guys is going to be pretty much similar to the one I, I did in Fortnite recently, but there is an updated tweaks that I've put in this. Um, there's a Discord called, called Tweaking Community that, I, um, that I'm in, and uh, they make these tweaking folders every couple of months or every couple of days or so. I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the tweaking folder right here. Um, tweaking Discord right here. And you can see they have these tweaking uh, tweaks, TC tweaks they call it right here. And you can download it through here. And they update it, so on and so forth. So this was updated five days ago, five, six days ago. So you can see they add new tweaks and all this stuff. So the, the some of the tweaks that I had in my last video were not from this. So I had it from an old pack that I had. Um, but yeah, today I'm gonna add those ones into this one for Valorant. Um, I would recommend if you're from for if you play Fortnite 2, apply these two. Um, but anyways, let's let's get into this. So custom uh, Windows ISO, like I said, recommend using GGOS. Um, for Fox OS, do not recommend because I do not recommend Fox OS because it's uh, voice chat might not work. It actually says on Fox OS's Discord that uh, the voice chat might not work for Valorant. So. I would recommend GGOS, but if you do want a little bit lower or latency, lower latency, maybe maybe try um, Pable or even Kernel if you want to try one of those two. But GGOS, in my opinion, is the best. I also had a had a video for it. You can check benchmarks for Valorant in there as well. For uh, drivers, uh, pretty much like the other video, except I added this picture here to show you the tweaks that you use when you're done with MV Clean install. So first of all, before we do that, you want to uninstall your drivers unless you download a custom Windows and ISO. Then you don't have to do that, but download a custom or delete your drivers. So we're just going to double click this display driver on the cell. I press on OK. It's going to close MS after run if you have it running. Go to GPU, clean and restart, or clean and do not restart. Pretty self explanatory there. You can also, if you have uh, regular Windows and you don't have custom Windows or anything, recommend you have to do this. You have to prevent downloads from Windows install because if you restart your computer, it will install a driver for you and you have to do this again. So I recommend disabling this or enabling this and then disabling like f uh, physics there and then maybe even enabling create a system restore point. I think it's already enabled. But uh, for me, I have it disabled because I don't want system restore points. But actually, there is no system restore points on this OS. Um, but yeah, that's that's what that is, okay? And once you have done that, uh, we want to go to MV Clean Install. And the best driver that I use is for the 7.30. It works for pretty much every game. It's good for every single game. Now, yes, there's probably a driver that's probably better for Valorant. Um, but this is the best for every game, so I just keep it on that one because of compatibility it has for every game so we're going to manually select and just scroll down to 487.30 press next and then it will install it for you uh, go next and then just make sure everything is disabled except the display driver so just keep it on this press next and it's going to download it then once you're done downloading it it's going to show up this little file right here this this picture just use the exact settings that are in this um, file, this image right here and you should be good to go next is the tweaks so this TC tweaks is the tweaking community tweaks. We'll get to that in a second. To start off this folder, we're gonna to go to ISLC and we're gonna double click it. This is a, clamp, a standby cleaner that will clear you know, memory and also lower your custom resolution or not custom resolution, your current timer resolution. So I recommend setting this to half of what your system memory is. So for me, it's 16 gigabytes. So eight gigabytes would be half of it. I'd also recommend going over here and typing 0 0.50. So if you type 0 0.50, it's going to do this. Press delete on your keyboard, and it'll go back. Press start. You also want to make sure these are both started here as well, and you can close this. Pretty self-explanatory for that. Um, what I recommend doing is if you do use this too, and you delete this pack after you download it, um, move this to like a documents folder or move it to a different folder so you don't delete the ISLC as well. Um, keyboard tweaks. Uh, I've talked about this in my other video. It pretty much just lowers your input lag with these registry tweaks, 16 is going to be the highest input lag, 10 is going to be the lowest. If you run into problems, use a higher number. Same with the mouse tweaks. You also have this mouse optimization that has some smoothness that will help you as well. Some power plans here that are I've tested before, and these are the best three. Amit is the best one. GGOS is pretty good, and unit, uh, Unicorn is also pretty good. Now, to actually import these, we need to go on our computer and type in PowerShell on our computer. Now, once PowerShell has been opened, we are going to type in power cfg dash import and then in quotations we want to copy the location of the uh, pack paste it in here press on the slash backslash and then press on tab until you figure 
out which one you want to use or click whatever one you want. So for this, we're going to use AMP, press enter. It should say power imported power scheme here. And close that. Now, if we go to power plan on our computer, now once you get into your power plan, um, just go back to power options on the top right here. And then you should see AMP right here. For me, I already have it enabled, so I'm just going to delete this one. I don't need it in here. But you just click on it, activate it, and then you'll be good to go. Lowest latency uh, power plan right there. The next thing that we're going to talk about is the TC tweaks. Now, this thing is full of tweaks that are going to be useful. Um, not, not, don't run everything because some of them are reverts. So you don't want to automatically, you don't want to just run through every single reg or .dxc, whatever, whatever command. So we're going to go through BCD. And through here, you can see that there's a ton of different ones now. Not every single one you want to use. So you can see this one's a default. This is a D leader. This is the legacy one. And then this is the probably the newest one that he has made, CAD has made. And then you also want to run this. So what we're going to do is right click and run as administrator. It will do all these things. And we want to press on enter here. And then here, do the same thing. And then I'll delete that so that Valorant works. Same thing with CPU tweaks. Run these. And then once you have run them, go to unpark cores, unpark CPU. Super simple little program. If you have park cores, then you want to make sure you use this. Go to unpark all, and then press on apply, and then it should work. Like I said, run these tweaks. You also have directions here that show you what to do. Debloaters. So for these, um, you can do a debloater script, which essentially is a debloater for your Windows. So if you right click and run as administrator, this will load a um, program on your computer that you've probably used before through GitHub. And you can even you can either re remove all or you can use a custom block list, which I recommend because you probably don't want to remove everything. And you can go through not, not everything can be removed. You can see not removable. Some things you can, most things you can, you can see here. Click on one that you want to remove and then save it and then remove it using the custom block list. And then there's more tweaks down here like Cortana, Cortana disable, Edge PDF disable, and then uninstall OneDrive if you use this. If you're using a custom ISO, you don't have to worry about this. If you're using a regular Windows, you do have to worry about that. I recommend doing that. It is a big game changer. Um, also, have a Spotify optimizer, which actually works for me at least. Uh, it's a lot better than the right than the actual Spotify program as of right now. It uses an older interface though, an older design, so it's kind of that part kind of sucks. But besides that, it's faster. It's a lot easier to use. It's a lot better. You can also use a Discord debloater, which is pretty much the same thing. Just takes files out, debloats for your computer. Some GPU tweaks too. You've probably ran these before. So we have these, um, some tweaks, graphics drivers, tweaks, and some uh, schedule tweaks here as well. We can also do NVIDIA. I recommend enabling your silk smoothness here and then some uh, some profile inspectors that we're going to talk about too. So just double click this, make sure it's running or make sure it says uh, that it worked. And then we're going to double click the profile inspector right here. Click on the import button right here. Go to the folder, so I'm going to go to my desktop, go to Valorant FPS Boost Guide, Tweaks, TC Tweaks, uh, uh, GPU, NVIDIA, and then inside of here we want to go to Cat's NVIDIA DWords. You can use this one, or not DWords, you want to use the profiles, sorry. And you want to probably use one of the newer ones, so for me, we, we're using 47.3, so we want to use this one, so we're going to press open, and then make sure it says this, apply. Wait for this to go by, apply again, close it, make sure that's good to go. Now, most likely, you'll have to go in your control panel and um, change your 3D resolution or your image settings to use advanced. And then you also want to maybe set some things in here like um, your resolution or your color settings if you install, uninstall your drivers. And then, Silk Smooth, just make sure this is turned at off in your settings. And you can close this and that's pretty much it for the NVIDIA part. Now once you have run these NVIDIA tweaks we're going to actually go back to the folder and run some more tweaks. We have some input lag tweaks that will that I recommend running all of these. Now if you used CATS BCD tweaks don't run this one. Um, besides that you can run everything else here for network. You can use browser. You have specific browser ones you can use. Is for like um, these are like the bloaters and some tweaks you can do in the settings. Uh, NDIS, I recommend run doing this one. Uh, network tweaks, I recommend running um, all of these. RSS, this is based on how many cores you have. So if you have four cores, six cores, eight cores, and so on and so forth, run that as many as you have. 
Now for auto tuning, um, if you run into no blowware, so like, okay, so when you download a game and you're playing a game at the same time and you use too much, like if you're downloading it at the max speed, you're going to notice ping increase, packet loss, it's going to be very unplayable. So I recommend just either limiting your download speed when you're downloading stuff or just using uh, this regular normal one. Um, internet probing, don't use this if you don't want to risk not having connection on your startup. Just don't run that one. And then just run this NVIDIA or network tweak down here. Power plans, here's some more power plans for you if you want to test out different ones. Register tweaks, run all of these that are here. And then some storage tweaks, you have some some bat files to run here. And then some memory tweaks, use this on based on how many gigabytes you have. And then some more memory management optimizations and large system cache tweaks. Um, and then finally, we have two more files that we need that we're talking about, and that is auto runs. You may have heard this. You might not have uh, heard about this. Essentially, this is a more in-depth task manager. So essentially, you can go in here and disable things that you don't want to run on your computer when they start up. So the main purpose, in my opinion, is things like updates. So if you have like Brave or Firefox or whatever browser you have, and things like Steam, Epic, Epic Games, and Discord and Spotify, they have automatic updaters. So turn those off when they start up when your computer starts up and that's pretty much it and then msi mode 2 you probably have heard this just make sure that the your graphics card is set on msi mode and then maybe your controllers and your gigabyte network um your network uh, card and uh, that's pretty much it now once we're done using all these we actually have some more settings to go through through the actual valorant program now once we go to the valorant program we can go to this Go to live here and then click on here and right click properties and then go to compatibility. I recommend turning or disabling full screen optimization to turn that on. And then you can also do shooter game, content, or not content, binaries, Win64. And then there's also a couple ones in here. There's one in here as well to do the same thing. And uh, that's pretty much it. Now for the in game settings, just turn everything off and uh, turn on um, NVIDIA Reflex if that's, I think that's in the game. Yeah, it is. Um, turn that on. And that's pretty much it. Um, make sure everything's low, use 1080p, use everything else. There's not much else you can do besides using those Reggie tweaks. So I hope this helped you. I hope your FPS is higher. But uh, anyways, peace out.